if f is any event of a random experiment such that p of f is not equals to 0 and if s is the sample space then p of s by f is equals to 1 we are asked to prove that the probability of s by f is equals to 1 now a p of s by f that can be written as we will write it as according to the conditional probability p of s by f can be written as p of s intersection f by p of f since f is an event in a random experiment and p of f is not equal to 0 and s is the sample space so s intersection f will be nothing but f because f is present in the sample space so this can be written as p of f by p of f both the terms will get cancelled and we will get it as 1 therefore we can say that probability of p of s by f is equals to 1 now we will discuss the next small theorem that is known as prove that probability of e complement by f is equals to 1 minus p of e by f so we can write it as since p of s by f is equals to 1 p of s by f is equal to 1 because just now we proved and we are going to use this result here now we will take the probability of p of e union e complement by f because we will write s is equals to e union e complement so this can be written as a p of e union e complement by f and this value becomes 1 according to the theorem all right now we will expand this p of e union e complement that is p of e plus p of e complement minus p of e intersection e complement by p of f and this value is equals to 1 now we will separate this numerator we will write it as p of e by p of f plus p of e complement by p of f minus this value becomes 0 by p of f is equals to 1 so as a result we will get it as p of e by f plus p of e complement by f is equals to 1 now we want p of e complement by f so this can be written as p of e complement by f is equals to we will write it as 1 minus p of e by f